guys. So I thought, well, let's film Mr. Patch. Mr. Patch! Hey, Patch! We are going to be doing a video on what Sebastian got for Christmas. But also, I just felt like I saw Mr. Patch and I wanted to feature him in the video. Patchy! He's like really peed off. He's like, leave me alone. I don't want to be in the video. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute, Mr. Patch. Right, anyway, back to the video. So, <laughs> slightly distracted there. I thought I would do a video. So, I thought I would do um, a What Sebastian Got for Christmas video. And all of this here is pretty much what he got for Christmas, apart from a couple of things. So, you've seen his little hoover there before. Um, this, oh yeah, a friend of, us, uh, of ours got us this. And it's basically one of these little aqua doodle pads. You put water in there and it's really good. Kind of like a little doodle pad. And it's just really handy for if you're going out and about. I think it's something that we're going to be kind of really enjoying when we're out. Like, <laughs> and stuff. Oh, my phone's going off again. Um, that you can just kind of, you know, you can just take that with you. I'm rambling. It's because it's quite late. It's like 11 o'clock at night. So, Sebastian got quite a lot of books. I'm really obsessed with this author. Her name's um, Annie Kubler. And I they have a massive range of these books. Sebastian's got um, a couple of others. But they do all the nursery rhyme songs. And it has all the words at, and the music at the back. And all the kind of babies are the same in the, in the book. So, this is I'm a Little Teapot. He's got a few other songs, like Wind the Bobbing Up that he loves and um, Sleepy Bunnies, which is his favourite song. And he really loves these books. And I like these as well because they're, they're the kind of cardboard books. Sebastian's at that stage where he's still... Paper books, he, he might rip them. These are another couple of books that I got off... Um, a friend of a friend of a relative of my auntie and she bought him some beautiful books I really like this one one pig went for a drive um Sebastian really likes the illustrations he keeps saying pepper I think he knows recognizes that the pig pig is like pepper pig um plunge into the pirate pool he really likes this I think because it's really bright and got lots of lovely colors in it and Well Done Little Croc as well is another book that he really likes. He really likes the animals and every time he sees the croc he's like... Rawr. So it's definitely... These are... They're just absolutely beautiful. And Eddie and Dog as well, which um, Sebastian really likes. But he doesn't understand that this is a dog, which I don't blame him because it doesn't even look like a dog. But there you go. Eddie and Dog. And again, I got um, this book, which I seriously recommend to anybody. It's again by illustrated by Annie Kubler, and it's the Charles Play My First Signs. Um, we've been doing a bit of signing with Sebastian, so we'll say bot bot or bottle. And for num nums, he puts does this kind of action and puts his hand to his mouth, and he that he'll tell us that he's hungry. So we've been trying to teach him a few more of these um, kind of signs and. I just think it's a beautiful. It's just beautifully illustrated, and even that, Sebastian will point to this potty and go wee wee. So, um, he's yeah, he's really coming along with this book. I really really recommend it. I'll leave all the links in the description bar for the books that I do know. Um, again, these were gifts, so I don't know. We got this book as well off um, his uncle, and it's just got lots of bright colours and lots of kind of objects and stuff which we've been practicing and yeah Sebastian's learned Apple from this book and um he's, he's just it, these are really handy I think to have for teaching them at this stage I'm noticing that he's learning so quickly so yeah again I'm rambling so Sebastian got this kitchen off his dad we were a little bit disappointed because when we got it I mean it was reduced it's literally just like a really plastic flimsy kitchen um I think come in time we'll get him like a proper kitchen but at the moment it's fine while we're in this little house and then when when we move we'll get him something a bit bigger but he really enjoys it he loves cooking he really loves like pretending to cook and he's been getting he put all this in here I didn't so he knows what to do um it's got like a little oven but the oven doesn't like have much oh look spoons oven doesn't really have much room um Again, we wanted something that was a bit more, just a bit better, but it'll do. It'll do for now. So for that, we got some food, play food. Um, these are really cute as well. We got them from Sainsbury's and it's actually Sainsbury's, like a little thing of juice and chocolate bar, Sainsbury's chocolate bar. What else? Tea. 
and a few other things. There's a pizza in there and just some food that she enjoys playing with. This little microwave we got again, that's from Sainsbury's. And it's really good because basically you could press it, set it for the minutes and it starts. And that actually goes round. So if you put something on it, it will um, go round. Sebastian enjoys playing with that quite a lot. Um, he also got this off of, um, of my uncle and it's fantastic. He really, really enjoys play. He'll, again, he's obsessed with Apple and um, he keeps pressing the A and it keeps going, Apple, Apple. It's a bit annoying. But it's... Red, orange, yellow, purple, green and blue. Yay! After a while you get used to all the songs. But it's got different stages. Level two, level three. Level two, level three. Oh. Let's have some Oh no, let's not. Let's turn it off. How do you turn it off? Ha ha! We turned it off. So yeah, it's really nice and really bright. He really, really enjoys it. Um, and it's really handy to have when you're in the car or in the push chair. So definitely recommend. This is by Fisher Price. Um, he got a toot toot ambulance to go with his toot toot emergency services. He just needs the police. Oh, has he has got the police car. That's it. Yeah, so he's got the ambulance. Um, again, we're still working on the toot toot track. He still keeps. He doesn't understand that you have to kind of push them around the track. He keeps just trying to smash up the track. Um, we, I, I got him this big. He really likes the garage that he's got, so I got him this big garage, and it's basically these little cars, and they go down all different sides. Um, but he doesn't play with it as much as we'd hoped, and it's really annoying because all these big toys you have to build them, and it took hours to build. It took my dad two hours to build. So um, I hope he plays with it soon. Um, and then he also got a wooden train track. Um, and then the wooden trains, he got two of those, but again, he's a little bit too young to kind of understand those at the moment. Um, and in there is the rest of his toot toot train track. Oh, he got some toys from Mexico as well. My mum and dad went to Mexico. He really enjoys this. Very simple, yet he loves it. Okay, the piece de resistance is this, and uh, Seb hates it. <laughs> he's really scared of it. Um, basically, you sit on it and because obviously your feet automatically go on this bit automatically presses it and it goes but as you heard just then it sounds like a drill and just Sebastian won't sit on it his little friend today sat on it and she uh, really enjoyed it but Seb didn't he'll go near it like he didn't even want to go near it before he wouldn't even be in the same room as it he'd scream but uh, he'll he'll push it around and stuff he's, he's getting used to it but yeah he doesn't seem to enjoy it much at the moment I'm sort of half tempted to take it to my parents and leave it there and kind of hide it and then maybe in a few weeks' time get it out again to see if he wants to play with it. I don't know. We thought maybe when he gets a bit older he'll get used to it. We we were going to get him a little car, like a little BMW kind of car that he can drive but also one that's remote control and I kind of wish we'd got that now. Um, but there you go. We've got this. So that's that. Um, and then this was also a Christmas present. We wrapped it up, even though we bought it in a charity shop. And the reason we bought it is because it's in Spanish and in English. And uh, I speak Spanish to Sebastian, as does my mum. So it's kind of a good little toy to have um, when he's in the push chair. And it speaks Spanish and stuff. So that's that. And as you can see here, we have started, I wouldn't say with potty training. We're kind of... Um, this way sorry my face has got half makeup on and half not makeup because i'm filming tutorials upstairs so you'll see kind of foundation down one anyway um so we're not really potty training sebastian as such we're kind of getting him used to the idea of it he'll he will sit on it and have a wee he'll always go up to it and just sit on it anyway and just go wee wee wee, wee. so he knows what to do um but again he'll you know he'll sit on it but then if we're giving him nappy free time He'll go up to it, but not if he needs a wee. Sometimes he'll just pop a squat and just do a wee because, and watch the wee. So he knows what he's doing. He's aware of it, but he just needs to get used to the idea that he needs to wee in the potty. Um, but it, nevertheless, he's really, he, you know, he really enjoys, he, he's obsessed with the potty. I think kids at this age are. Anyway, um, oh, what else? Did, oh, no, one more thing. 
I'm sure you all remember this book. It's an absolute classic book. I remember reading it when I was a child, and it's Five Minutes Peace by Jill Murphy. And it's probably one of my favourite... Oh, it's, look, celebrating 25 years of the large family. It's been around for 25 years. And I remember this book when I was a little girl. And um, it's funny because I remember thinking the children were really funny. It's basically about an elephant mum who wants to go and have five minutes peace in the bath. And then the children all come in and totally disrupt her time. And I just feel like this mum now. Whereas before, I remember reading this when I was like the little elephant. And now I'm the mum. Just desperate for five minutes peace. So um yeah, he also got that. He got that off his granddad and uh um oh and it has a height chart as well, which I didn't even notice until I looked just then. So we might have to put that up somewhere. Yeah, I think we will. Anyway, so um that's pretty much it. Sebastian got loads of clothes. He got loads of clothes from Mexico, which is really cute little Mexican outfits and little Mexican t shirts and stuff, like that hand embroidered and stuff and he got some really nice things, but these are the sort of like main toy items that he got. Oh, my battery's dying. Um, he's got a few things down Bristol as well, where my parents live, kind of like a rocking horse and a few other little bits. So, but these are the main sort of staple bits of his presents. I hope you enjoyed that video. It's nothing special, just some, something that, you know, you might get some ideas as to what you might want to get your children for next Christmas or even for their birthday. Sebastian's birthday's coming up. We have no idea what we're going to get him. Probably do like a really nice day out or something, I think. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.